And Nick, you got auto steer in that semi? Um, yep, sure do. You know, now we roll. Sweet. Ooh. Yeah, he fell pretty bad. Well, this is a treat. We're gonna launch their cannon. Yeah. Did not expect Probably this whatsoever. <laughs> That's crazy. That was awesome. They were saying that it didn't go near as far because leg arms forgot to open something up. Chocker leg arms forgot to do something. I mean, but it was that was still awesome. But he's fired. He's fired. Nick Nick's officially fired him again. Some people use horses. They got to scotch. So so we are just looking down the road and we just saw we're seeing it. We thought it was dust originally, but there's white there's white smoke coming out. Way over there, so we're thinking there's a fire over there. So we're just rolling up on it, and it, something's definitely burning right now. It is not good. Good thing we got we got the brood.
pretty impressive. Really impressive to see all these guys come together. It's amazing. I'm currently it's kind of hard to see but they're they're fighting the fire right there it's under control right now the fire department was extremely fast does anybody copy yeah there's a fire uh, five miles south so they took the brute and we're fighting it right now it's just about out copy I was wondering that so the brutes actually this fire this fire equipment's looking really awesome I'll have to get the name from Nick where he got it but I mean it looks this is, this is a very unfortunate situation, but there's three or four fire trucks right now fighting it, and I think they're gonna, it's working pretty well. I think they just about have it out, but I'm flying Nick's drone as we're doing this, just to try and get some good footage for him. So they just about have the fire put out. I'm probably gonna drive over there shortly, but man, that was a scary situation, guys. That went up in a hurry. This fire department here is extremely good at their, what they do. They got here probably, we saw the smoke, got here within 10 minutes they were two fire trucks already here a bunch of farmers come up with their water trucks like everyone basically drops what they're doing during a fire and stop when there's a fire call and stops well guys that was extremely exciting i'll have to talk about that more but both my gopro batteries are dead i got them on the charger right now but we just got back cutting again their combine guru is on his way out check on our white cap problem I can already tell it's a little bit better but we'll see but man that was some unnecessary excitement but um, it was like I said I can't so I can't speak highly enough about how everyone responded so quickly because out here I imagine stuff like that gets out of hand in a hurry especially with the good wind so. but we're back to cutting right now it's about 630 let's see if we can get some stuff done Back cutting. My last Montana night cutting. My first and last. Ooh, there's a combine coming over the horizon. But man, this is just gorgeous out right now. Whoo. Really want to get the drone up in the air. Oh yeah. Look at that 8250. Not shabby. He's scooting with that thing. Just about got this little pass patch fixed up. Even with the small wires in, guys, you guys can still probably see that there's a lot of white uh, kernels in the wheat. Those are called white caps. That just basically means the machine is not threshing well enough. So, Case Combine Guru is coming out. Hopefully, I can learn something from him. Both moved at the same time. I mean, you make me move. <laughs>
Well guys, I officially got myself. Right I just landed the drone and tried to grab yeah, the propellers. Like I tried to grab the drone, I grabbed too high, grabbed the props, smacked myself, that hurt. But I'll live. It was worth it because that was probably the best drone shots I've ever got. It was amazing. I think it's time to turn these lights on and follow suit. Right here, I believe. Whew. It's not even that dark out yet, and I can tell that these Thomas LEDs are bright. Like, man, wow. I hope I get to keep running this thing just to see how bright it truly is. Look at the grain tank. You just cannot see that in the grain tank. So, the case guru is here. I'm gonna try and stop the bleeding. I just gotta keep licking it. I'll be fine. I'll live. Like I said, worth it. So, let's go see if we can clean up this grain tank sample. You can really tell now that the light's on. We have this, a decent amount of white caps. It's not as bad as it was, but still, it's not good by any means. So, let's go see what this case guy has to say. Kind of looking forward to it. I'm always one for learning. Man, that was hard work. Driving a combine, thrashing wheat, flying a drone. Wow. Well, let's go see what these guys have to say. Can't get better views than this, guys. This is pretty sweet. Your Thomas LED lights definitely do help. Are they pretty bright? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like nice. barely, like when it, it was barely getting time where you know you can turn it on, but as soon as you flip those on, night and day oh, difference. I, they're so bright. It's crazy. Those Thomas lights are amazing. Especially in the grain tank. Like the grain tank one is awesome. It's I wish bright. I would have turned that on earlier because I was trying to look for white caps oh, and could yeah. be, I was just like, ah, I had to squint and then I turned them on. I was like, I know. Should have even thought of it. And this one even has the HIDs in the front, but the thing is, the funny thing is, those HID bulbs are yep. as much as a Thomas light. Really? They're 100 bucks a bulb for those, <laughs> and you can buy a Thomas light for that too. So it's And those like, are bright. They're so bright. Awesome. Yeah. Definitely don't get this back in Iowa, that is for sure. It has been an absolute blast. That might've been my last time running the running this 8230, running B-spine. I mean, just look at these tires. Just crazy. A good six foot five guy can fit in here pretty easily. 1400 LSWs. B-spine was just awesome, awesome to drive. I am just beyond thankful for, thankful for Walkers for letting me, having me out here. It was just a blast. Got to see a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff. I mean, it was just an absolute blast. So thank you guys so much. If you got, like I said, if you guys have not heard of their channel, definitely check them out. So, looks like they're gonna keep cutting. Let's go see. Yeah. Here's Nick flying the drone. Get a nice view of these. These Thomas LED lights are fantastic. I am just beyond impressed. Just lights up everything, and I just love these lights right here. They're just so bright. So, grain's coming in the tank there. We're cutting. There he is. Vlogger filming vlogger. It's actually impressive how steady he's keeping this thing. Yeah, you can kind of see his drone with the light there. Nice. So they said not to pay attention so much for the shoe loss, mainly for the rotor loss. I'm only going 3.5 for this. Sample is still not the greatest, but it'll work. There he is. This has just been a fun. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say other than I'm just thankful. A little bit about my schedule. I'm going to be out in uh, this Montana, North Dakota area for the next three to four weeks, and I'll be back home. So, ooh, she's starting to get a little full. Pretty good wheat here. Had to slow it down a touch. I'm also taking a lot of straw. Look at him. <laughs> Sweet. I can confirm, guys, driving B-spine is as fun as it looks. These lights are almost too bright. They're creating a big steam pattern. I mean, just look at them, or dust pattern. That's awesome. These things are bright and they're sweet. So again, I don't think I've ever said this, but I'm gonna case 8230 combine, back down 2152 Draper, it's a 45 foot. 
cutting some spring wheat, not sure the variety. It's tough threshing, very tough. This case is struggling. I wish it was only 424. I'd have a lot more to do. There's the other 8230, Clifford. Such a good name for a team made of beast spine. You forgot to dim the lights. I couldn't see. Bob is hilarious. You guys seriously need to talk to Bob. Like, Lincoln leg arms are, they're all right, but Bob is hilarious. He's caught me so many times with this dry human. I just wasn't expecting it. I was like, whoa, this guy. Oh, we're rolling now. Nick's gonna bring a truck out to load on the go. That's good, Nick. You got auto steering that semi? Um, yep, sure do. You know, now we roll. Sweet. And he's got LED lights on the head of his on the hood of that truck. That is just awesome. Can't say I've ever done this before, guys. Jeez, slow down there, Speed Demon. He was behind me. He's just cruising, probably full bore. He also only has uh, two feet of pass, so that definitely helps. You're talking the header knife, not your mind. Well, my ego too, but that works too. Yeah. Bob and I's banter today is just. Oh, well, it's that header. Right, which one did you think I was talking about? Yours, not mine. I really gotta slow yeah, down the three. Don't mind that we're talking about your mind. Of course, I don't mind talking about my mind. I do that all the time. I don't. I don't mind. Oh, time, mind. You're, 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 you're a sign of the time. It's just sublime how awesome the lime light is. I don't know. I'm out. You are, and you're one. Ah, I forgot about that one. Last full pass. With for Welk for Hard Tongue Farms visiting Walker Farms 2019. I really hope I get the chance to see these guys again, especially during harvest. This is just an awesome, quick little trip before I head off to my work trip. But man, this is just amazing. All right, all done. Now I just gotta go back and clean up a little bit that I had there. And we'll go dump. Bob, how many acres do you think we cut today in the couple hours that we were cutting? <laughs> I was about, I'd say you probably had a little bit more than me, so about 150 acres, not too bad. They need to put a switch in this light, but I guess they're not, they never have to fold down their hoppers unless at night, so let's climb out and let's see what's going on. Sorry if, it, if the lens, lens is a little dirty, but hi Sam Dwyer, don't think I ever said hi. You farm legend. Hi, Colbers. Hi, Colbers. Well, guys, that was an absolute blast. I, I'm just so thankful for everything that they've done. It was just, it was so cool. Thank you guys so much again, Welkers. It was a blast meeting y'all, each and every one of you guys. I look forward to meeting you guys again. Thank you guys so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely a different video. It was cool meeting those guys. Um, be sure, like I said, once again, check them out if you haven't already. Card be right here definitely check them out really cool stuff coming be sure to follow us on facebook and instagram at heart tongue family farms and of course guys as always ta-ta for now have a good one and just realized i was wearing two hats at that point but follow both these channels do it